its proximity to Amsterdam makes it a popular day trip destination, and it is most known for its rich history, stunning architecture, and vibrant cultural scene. This is the picturesque city of Haarlem, nestled in the heart of the Netherlands. Hi everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Haarlem, a city with a storybook charm and a population of around 160,000, is just a stone's throw away from Amsterdam. Despite its relatively small size, Haarlem boasts a significant historical and cultural importance that has left an indelible mark on the Netherlands. The area around modern-day Haarlem has been inhabited since ancient times, with evidence of human presence dating back to the prehistoric era. By the Middle Ages, Haarlem had grown into a small village. But Haarlem's significance surged during the Dutch Golden Age, which was a period of exceptional economic, cultural, and artistic growth in the Netherlands. The city became a hub for artistic activity, attracting renowned painters, like Frans Hals. As the centuries progressed, Haarlem's economic importance evolved, and it transitioned into a more industrialized city. Today, while it is no longer a major trading hub, Haarlem retains its historical charm, architectural beauty, and cultural significance. We drove and parked at the park and ride near IKEA Haarlem and from there we took the train to Station Haarlem, where our tour of the city started. We slowly made our way towards the St. Bavo Church. Station Haarlem is a major railway station that connects the city to other destinations in the Netherlands. It's conveniently located, making it an ideal starting point for travelers exploring Haarlem or using the city as a base for exploring nearby areas. The area surrounding the station features a variety of shops, where you will find everything from fashion and electronics to specialty stores offering Dutch delicacies and souvenirs. One of the most remarkable features of the St. Bavo Church is the world-famous Muller organ. Built by the renowned organ builder Christian Muller in the mid-18th century, the organ is renowned for its exceptional sound quality and intricate craftsmanship. It boasts over 5,000 pipes and is considered one of the most important historic organs in Europe. The St. Bavo Church is one of Harlem's most iconic landmarks, dating back to the 14th century when construction began. It was originally dedicated to St. Bavo, a 7th century saint. The building construction took several centuries to complete, and various architectural styles, including Gothic and Renaissance influences, are evident in its design. The interior of the St. Bavo Church is impressive. Visitors are awed by the grandeur of the nave, adorned with stunning stained glass windows that depict biblical scenes and historical events. The intricately carved wooden choir stalls and pulpit further enhance the church's artistic and historical significance. Throughout its history, the St. Bavo Church has witnessed significant events. It played a role during the Reformation, with the church adopting the Protestant faith. The church was also the site of royal ceremonies, including the baptism of the Dutch royal family. Today, the church continues to be a hub of cultural events. Concerts, recitals, and musical performances often take place within its magnificent interior, making use of the exceptional acoustics and the renowned Muller organ. The St. Bavo Church towering spire, and artistic treasures make it a must-visit landmark for those exploring the city's rich past and vibrant present. The Grote Markt, or Great Market Square, in English, is the central and bustling heart of Harlem, located next to the St. Bavo Church. The historic town hall building is located on one side of the central square. The building's architecture is a mix of Gothic and Renaissance styles. The town hall is not only an administrative center, but also an important architectural and historical monument. The square is surrounded by restaurants, cafes, and terraces, making it a popular spot for dining and enjoying the atmosphere. Visitors can indulge in Dutch cuisine, pastries, and drinks while taking in the views of the historical surroundings. From there, we walked in the direction of the Sparon River, which is a significant waterway that runs through the heart of Harlem. 
The river offers opportunities for boat tours and cruises, allowing visitors to explore Harlem from a unique perspective. These tours provide insights into the city's history, architecture, and landmarks while gliding along the tranquil waters. The canal is adorned with picturesque bridges that connect different parts of the city. These bridges serve as both functional and aesthetic elements, enhancing the overall ambience of the area. The embankments along the canal provide pleasant walking paths where people can stroll, sit, and enjoy the views. The boat tours provide excellent photo opportunities. You can capture unique shots of Harlem's architecture, canals, and landmarks from the water, creating memorable souvenirs of your visit. The canal's presence enhances the beauty of the city and the surrounding area. It adds a reflective element to the cityscape, creating postcard-worthy views that capture the essence of Harlem's historical charm. This is one of the churches whereby it is impossible for me to pronounce the name correctly. The Bacnessekirk is a former church building, dating back to the 13th century and is medieval in its exterior appearance. This church should not be confused with the larger and more famous St. Bavo's Church located in the Central Market Square. While both churches are dedicated to St. Bavo, they are distinct structures with their own historical and architectural significance. Alongside the canal, you can also find restaurants, cafes, and terraces that offer waterfront dining experiences. It is a great place to relax, enjoy a meal or a drink, and watch the boats go by. We had an amazing meal at one of the restaurants along the canals, we will leave a link of this restaurant in the description below and we will feature it in one of our YouTube shorts. One of the most recognizable landmarks in Harlem and holding a great historical significance is the Windmill de Adrian. It stands on the bank of the Sparon River, near the center of the city, and has become an iconic symbol of Harlem. The original windmill was built in 1779 as a grain mill. It replaced an earlier windmill that had stood on the same spot, but was destroyed by fire. The windmill's construction was commissioned by the wealthy merchant, after whom it was named. The windmill is open to the public, allowing visitors to learn about its history and operation. Inside, you can explore the various levels, see the milling machinery, and enjoy panoramic views of Harlem and the surrounding area from the top. As we are nearing the end of this short tour of Harlem, we want to take this opportunity to ask you to subscribe to our channel, in case you have not done so yet. We are aiming to reach 500 subscribers, and we count on your support. And remember to click the notification bell so that you do not miss out our next video release. As we bid adieu to Harlem, we carry with us memories of its storied past, its warm and welcoming locals, and the sense of connection we felt to a place that seems both timeless and ever-evolving. Harlem has reminded us that in our pursuit of adventure, we often find the most unforgettable experiences in the most unexpected corners of the world.